This is a prelude before the beginning of our attempts to teach you a particular lesson about yourself as a human being and myself as what appears to be a human being and yourself. Certainly, uh, you appear to be a human being. That's John on the camera there. So in a particular sense, John representing the entirety of this association in time. You see that? Crystal, is that you? Crystal, who uh, many of you know very well from other escapades we share together in our attempts to teach the uh, impossible situation concerning the idea of death. So you are representing aggregations in space-time in which I am appearing under the direction of the consortium called A Course in Miracles. A course in the requirement for your fundamental admission that in your association with yourself you have figured in the idea of space-time, an attitude of annihilation based on a predetermined idea of space and time. So perhaps you've been attracted to this offering from this master teacher by the inquiry that is contained in the title of the lesson, What is Death? We're at a fundamental premise, if you're watching this video, that you have become somewhere within your procedure of space-time relationship, determined that there is an alternative, all right, of your observation of yourself, okay, with the fundamental admission that indeed all of your space-time efforts have always only led you to uh, say to me, death. So I'm in your picture of life exposure based on yourself as a body within this parameter of space-time telling you that there is no such thing as death. So in your fundamental inquiry about death, which is obviously the formulation of space-time, the temporal idea of coming into this association, occupying a space-time, and being terminated. Is that what death is? Is that the totality of your explanation about the occupancy of yourself within this space-time episode? Are you saying to me, human, in the organization of yourself, that death is a continuing idea that you maintain in order to maintain? that contained within your association of space-time in correspondence with your idea that you are a body, that you are that body, is a determination to represent yourself temporally with your certainty of uh, death? Say to me, uh, from my observation, Everything dies. Life to me is cyclical. We're born, we live here, and we die. I see ranges of consciousness that indicate that our planet is revolving around the sun and comes to a place within space-time that I can identify within my associations of space-time. Things are born, they live, and they die. Question to you, where did you get the idea 
of cyclicalness. Giraffes don't have it. Asperdasper plants don't have it. Associations of consciousness dedicated to the proposition of cause and effect relationships that justify themselves are not formulated with solutions that represent death, but only with their recognition that life is life. If what I'm telling you is true, and I want you to accept it in a very fundamental sense, when I tell you there is no death, all right, it would require that you recognize somewhere within your own constitution of ideas about yourself. Are you ready? But death is an idea. You right there? Come on. Everyone dies? I don't. No, the self that I am is a recognition of eternal life. The procedures of this Course in Miracles from the resurrected mind of my Savior, Jesus Christ, reborn, transfigurated at this moment, is to show you at this moment you are participating in a ritual of being born, being recognized in the conceptual self identified within this world, and dying. So in a very particular sense, death is an idea. And the entirety of your op observation of yourself, the continuity of time that identifies you as a body, is sustained by the idea of death. Now we're at our fundamental premise. I'm offering to you from the certainty of who I am the power of your mind to decide on whether to be eternally happy as you were created or to continue to represent yourself as formulating within this small constitution of dark light form where you proclaim to everyone about you within your own dream that you are a body and that you will suffer and that the consequences of your mind that are long past can only lead to a continuing idea that you must suffer and that you must die. So our lesson for today in the teacher's manual that we intend to read to you will address the idea that not only is death an idea, temporalness, space-time, but that it's your idea. The idea of death within the framework of the entirety of life requires a definition of temporalness based on a body form, which you are representing to me. I am denying the longevity of your association of correspondence within your body form and telling you at this moment you are both dying and being born. Okay. Any sequentiality of the idea of space-time separate from eternal life could only have lasted for this moment. Now, if this is true, there is no question that this world is an idea of death, the idea of sustaining yourself, idea of the substance that represents your idea that you are a body. It allows you to function in this limited frame of space-time where there is no real correspondence of what life is simply because life is what everything is and is eternal. But the idea of death is what space-time is.